welcome to this module. On um, this module, I'm actually going to show you the ATM business model. You probably saw this video before, but in order for you to start your own ATM business, you have to know how the business works, right? Um, so I'm going to illustrate for you basically how the business model works. You know how you're, you know, basically going to run your business. Um, and it's pretty simple. It's a pretty easy illustration. I'm going to go in much more deeper detail um, later in the course, but I want you guys to kind of learn the basics because. Um, what I learned a long time ago is that if you don't learn the basics, right, you're just going to make basic money and nobody wants to make basic money, right? So I'm going to teach you the basics right now, how the business model works. So check it out. Like I said, I'm not that good of a drawler, so don't make fun of my, my art. So this is just an example, okay? This is your ATM machine right here, okay? Cool. Now, to make this example very simple, okay, I'm just going to use a very simple number, okay? This is you. Got you a little smile it's because you're making passive income. It's something to smile about, right? And you have $100 in your ATM machine. I don't know how you got that $100. Maybe you found it under your mattress. Maybe, you know, a friend let you borrow it. But you have $100 and it's in your machine, okay? Now, in order for this to work, you need to have a bank account. Okay, so this is your bank. Okay? And you also need another thing in this equation. A customer, right, to use your ATM machine. I'm gonna call this guy Bob, okay? Bob also has a bank as well. Bob's bank, okay? Now Bob is a little upset as you can tell because he left his house and he needs money and he forgot to go to the bank. So what he does is he sees your ATM, okay? Bob needs $100. So what Bob's gonna do is he's gonna go to your ATM, okay? He's gonna put in his debit card, put in his pin and he's going to accept your surcharge. So now we're talking about surcharges, right? Your surcharge is basically where you're going to make your profit. Okay? So for instance, for example, let's just say you're charging $3 right for people to use your machine. Okay? This right here we call this your profit. Okay? Every time somebody uses your machine, right? You're going to make $3. Now, What's gonna happen is, like I said, he's gonna put in his debit card, he's gonna put in his PIN, okay? Your ATM machine's gonna verify that Bob has $100 in his bank account. Once it verifies that Bob has the money, your ATM is gonna dispense $100 to Bob. Bob's happy, pretty cool. Now what's gonna happen is this. Because he took out $100 and you charged him a $3 surcharge, what's gonna happen is this, it's gonna debit Bob's account and it's going to credit your account. But check this out. Instead of you making $100 back, you're getting that $100 back plus that $3 surcharge. Does that make sense? So check this out. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go put back that 100 bucks back into your ATM machine. Okay? Another customer is going to come along, right? Use your machine. It's going to debit their account right? Credit your account. And that's where your money's going to start coming from. Now it takes around 24 hours, right? For your money to show back up into your bank account, which is pretty fast. So this is basically the ATM business model. I like to call it, you're basically recycling money. You're never losing money. People are taking it, but like I said, you're debiting their account and you're crediting your account, but you're also providing a $3 surcharge for them to use your machine. So now that you guys know the business model, right? Now we can go in deep detail to how it actually works. So with that guys, I'll see you on the next module.